Oh jeez. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. My car is a mess. <laughs> I haven't cleaned it out uh, since last summer. Quesadilla. Oh. My old vape. My sunglasses. It's definitely past due. I had a brick in my car. I just got done cleaning out my car. As I was bringing stuff in, the neighbor's dog ran inside my house. So the girls made a new friend today. Um, other than that, I got in an argument with a preacher today on Twitter. <laughs> and like not just any preacher, right? My family goes to his church. This guy is a preacher that I have met in person. So to give you guys a summary of what happened, uh, basically, you know, my, my family members, like I said, go to this church and this guy has asked about me by name specifically, you know, wanting me to go to church, wanting me to meet him, telling my family that, you know, it's cool that I'm transgender. I'm still welcome there. That's really nice. But, um, he has this thing where he tweets these like really hateful, problematic things, <laughs> like a lot, and he posts stuff on Facebook. Like he's very outspoken politically. And so that to begin with sort of rubs me the wrong way because he's a person that people look up to and trust to teach them about their religion. And he takes his, you know, his influence and uses that to further a political agenda, which I already don't like. But you know, that's not something that I would start an argument with him about. That's just how I've always kind of personally felt about him. So I saw one of his tweets today that was like, you know, something complaining about liberals, saying that they need to grow up and stop acting like three-year-olds, and the, the liberals, the whiny liberals, some shit like that. But he used the hashtag snowflakes. And that's what rubbed me the wrong way. Because I'm like, you're a fucking preacher, dude. You're telling everyone that they're supposed to be nice to each other, and you're going to use the hashtag snowflakes, which if you guys don't know, like that's a really common form of hate speech that people throw at transgender people to belittle them and invalidate them saying that they're special snowflakes when, you know, trans people ask for the same rights as everyone else. And, you know, for him to say this after specifically asking the family members of a trans person, you know, to contact me and have me go to his church, I was like, what the fuck is this? And I wasn't rude, I just quoted his tweet, and I said this is an actual tweet from a local preacher. And I wasn't expecting us to go back and forth, but we kind of did, and he just didn't apologize. He, he was rude about it the whole time. He was like, I was honest with him. I was like, you contact my family and ask me to go to your church, but then you, you know, tweet about special snowflakes and shit? Like, that's not the church for me. And he goes, that's fine. And he argues with me and he goes, you can read about the kind of church that you'll go to and sends me a Bible verse that basically I went and read it and it was like, um, you know, people will abandon wholesome teachings and only listen to people who tell them what they want to hear. And I'm like, dude, why, why are you being a dick? And how is like, calling liberals like whiny three-year-olds, is that a wholesome teaching? Fuck you. I didn't say that, I just stopped responding to him, but <laughs> since I quoted the tweet, a lot of you guys saw it, and you guys were like, not mean, but just telling him, like, you're obviously not a good Christian, like, this isn't how you spread the word of the Lord. And he was just fucking, he sounded like a psychopath on there. He's like, why do you defend murderers? And you, like, no, when was this conversation about murder? I don't know. It was crazy. It's on my Twitter. Go. <laughs> I'm still like in shock. So I, I sent screenshots to my family members and they're like, okay, we're not going to that fucking church anymore. So yeah, that, that happened today. Oh, don't you love the Christians? How can you ask? I don't, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. In my last vlog, I talked about not going to the gym because my back was hurt and it was leg day. Um, well, I ended up going to the gym the next day and uh, hurting my back <laughs> doing squats. So um, I haven't been able to go to the gym for the last few days and that's not very fun. And I'm like kind of losing my mind because I need to go be active and do stuff. So I'm going to go skate a little bit and just go for a little cruise.
Christy's home. We just got groceries. Good morning. Oh, fuck. Dairy free yogurt, turkey sandwich. It's nice having groceries. Apparently, as a child, I wrote in a journal because my grandmother just sent me a picture and it's a diary entry from when I was eight years old. It says 101904. Cassie told me to go to hell. <laughs> That's all I had to say about that day. <laughs> So that dog was Coda. He belongs to Christy's friend, and she brought him over to meet the girls tonight, so that was pretty fun. It escalated quickly, but then it all calmed down. I just got done taking a shower. I'm going to lay in bed, watch Scream Queens, and then crash out. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Hail Satan. <laughs>